Since this, we've learned this is an undercover pursuit here, uh, that explains the unmarked vehicles and, you know, all of the unknowns about this guy or, or where they're going and what they may be carrying, what their plan is. Yeah, if we've got our bearings right, then he'd be coming up on the 143, which you can also exit um, to get to the airport. University Drive, 32nd Street. Okay. He's really got nowhere to go yeah. because of the traffic. Right. But, but the other problem is it's hard to get officers in on that, too, because of the traffic. Right, and I don't see those vans right now. We're kind of close. Um, I don't know if in a wide shot, maybe they're further back, but I'm not sure if they'd go onto the highway at this point or if they'd, you know, wait for him to exit. The one thing this does is it buys them time to get out ahead of him. Um, as he slows down and he's stuck in traffic, they can start to deploy officers at turnoff points up ahead to maybe, you know, head this guy off. It's tricky because you get on surface streets, you know, you don't want to do pit maneuvers on surface streets necessarily. That's mm -hmm. too dangerous for everybody involved. Right. But they could box him in, they could block him, and we may see one of these unmarked units box him in where he's got nowhere to go. Yeah. And the people driving today have no idea what's unfolding. Right, they have no idea what's happening around them. Right. I mean, if you're watching and you know anyone that's traveling home from work and maybe taking this route, maybe you advise them to take a different way. I mean, it, it could be a dangerous situation for people, for all involved. Right. And we don't know if he's armed. We have no idea. But right. this is apparently and confirmed now by Fox 10. This was part of an undercover operation involving that car. And we don't know what he uh, was involved with. We believe it's a single male driver in what we believe is a Ford, that silver Ford. Yeah, blending in with traffic now. Uh, not, not going extremely fast, you know, kind of not weaving lanes, just moving along. Um, it's hard to tell what they're, what they're going to decide to do next. Well, the other part, and, and police have evolved on this over the years, um, you know, they've kind of learned to not heighten the situation. And so they'll back off, watch him from the air, feeling the time's on their side. Oh, here we have the vans. Yeah, we've got, the, we've got the, these units, those uh, black units with the tinted windows. Okay, maybe they're going to try to corner him here. They might. And get traffic to stop. You can kind of tell the cars are slowing down. I don't know if that's just traffic. So it'll be or... interesting if this one uh, in the HOV lane will try to get out ahead of him and cut him off. As we pull out here, you can kind of see this wide shot of what's going on. So we've seen periodically these uh, black units with tinted windows that may be part of this undercover operation to try to stop this guy. And it's involving Phoenix PD. I think we may, yeah. Chopper's getting a... It's becoming difficult to keep a close eye on this vehicle as it starts to blend in with traffic here. But you can see those black vans we were mentioning, uh, likely with Phoenix police. Here we go. Um, part of this undercover operation. Again, we don't know what, what this is all about, what this person may be responsible for, um, if this is a stolen vehicle, could be. Uh, but it seems to be part of a, a much larger operation here with Phoenix Police. Yeah, look at all, the, uh, all these black unmarked cars. That is part of this, and it's a big number. This has to be pretty serious to deploy this kind of manpower. Right. That's not part of it, but the ones up to the right of our screen, if they, if they pan over, you'll see it. So they've go. gotten out ahead of him now. Yeah. Some of these units. Ahead so this will be back. interesting if they can pinch him in. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to warn you that if, if they stop him, we may have to pull out because we don't know what might unfold on live television. Yeah, they have a plan in place. Uh, it looks like they're, they're starting to slow down here. Not sure if they're trying to box him in, corner him, and see what happens once he comes to a stop. I-10 south of US-60. He may uh, have a sense of what's happening here. 
Um, he, he certainly wants to go faster than he yeah. can go right now. Yeah, he knows he's being tailed. Obviously, all he's surrounded by these big black vehicles, uh, which were following him on the side streets as well. So he definitely knows they're they're around. And again, as you mentioned, John, you know, he could be on the phone with other people. It could be, you know, planning some kind of escape here or attempt to escape from the highway. But as traffic begins to build up, as you know, around this time, uh, it's going to be pretty impossible for him to get away quickly, at least from the highway. Yeah, he'd have to exit again and end up on side streets where he'd have a little more room. Um, but I'm, I'm very curious about these black units, these all black units with the tinted windows that are big SUVs mm -hmm. that have now pulled ahead of him. They're not in our, in our frame. And you would think they could start to pinch this guy down to where he, he gets boxed in. That, that may be right. the answer. The other part of it, though, is if, is if this guy's armed and if they knew he was armed, they may be reticent to go there on a crowded freeway. Yeah, we're on the I-10 southbound coming up on Ahwatukee now. Uh, but this all started, you know, he's been all over the valley at this point. So uh, during a busy time of day, um, lots of people on the roadway, and it looks like there's not many cars around him now, but those big black vans that we mentioned, likely with Phoenix Police, part of this undercover operation, they're planning something because they're all mostly, as, as far as we know, ahead of him at this point. Yeah, this guy is hit for the cycle. He's been on the 101, the 202, the 51, and I-10 throughout this. So he's covered a lot, of, a lot of ground. Don't know what the gas situation is on right. board, whether he's got a full tank or, you know, that's another issue with these guys. Sometimes they run out of fuel. But again, the time is on the side of the police in these situations. They can wait this guy out. If they've got him from the air and they have a clear drop on him, they can see him. He's trying to exit. All right, it looks like we might exit here. Now, now that all of those, those unmarked vehicles with police were up farther than he was, I wonder what's going to happen now. Yeah, this is, this is where it gets tricky. It'll be interesting yeah. to see if he obeys this light. Okay. This could be Ray Road here. Taking the is that answer. one of those units behind him? Yeah, yep. it looks okay. like it. Okay, so there were some behind him. Yep. Well, these things change pretty quickly, uh, as I'm sure units that are following this guy There's are There's a couple of. of those behind yeah. him, stacked up. So I don't even know what that is. That is beyond an Escalade. That is... I know. It's almost like... It a almost looks armored to yeah. me. Yeah, maybe it is. Phoenix Police Chopper also following this guy from the sky. A pedestrian has no idea None. what he's walking into. The other vehicles around him uh, also likely have no idea what's going on. But again, it doesn't appear that there's any other people in the vehicle, in this silver vehicle that's being followed by Phoenix police at the moment. Um, it seemed to be a man in the front seat driving uh, in a red shirt. Okay, that was Broadway there. We're told this may be near the one, 143 um, and I-10. That was Broadway that he just crossed there. Okay. So that's one of those units, and there's another one behind him. Oh, they've Pulling got the, uh, the grappler. The grappler. There he go. They got him. They got him. The grappler device. They got him. The grappler, to stop the vehicle. again, working to perfection. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to get interesting. Oh, here we go. He has nowhere to go, and he didn't even see that coming. Again, a word of warning. Watch with caution here. We may need to pull away from this um, if something, you know, He's got graphic. long arms there. That's, that's a serious weapon that he just pulled. That's not a handgun. That's a rifle. Wow. We'll see. Wow. Shot fired. Okay. He must have uh, drawn a weapon for the officers to do that. If they fired on him, they must have felt that he drew a weapon. Yeah, we... Uh, what okay, so they're stepping away from some of their coverage here, but we want to stay on it here uh, because we are live, raw and unfiltered. Of course, viewer discretion always advised. Uh, if something does happen, we might have to pull out as well. I'm Daytona Everett. Uh, this is live now from Fox. We are listening into Fox 10 Phoenix.
coverage, but you saw this maneuver just seconds ago here, and now they have deployed shots. And we do want to warn you again, viewer discretion always advised in situations like this. We're going to put that on our banner here for everyone who may be tuning in. But this is what we do. This has been uh, not really fully a confirmed police pursuit for the past hour, but clearly it was uh, with all these unmarked vehicles that uh, have since deployed this maneuver to get the car to stop here, pulling it back under the axle. And now some canine units there as well. We don't know how many people are in the car at this time, possibly multiple people in the car. We do know that DPS uh, were the ones that were following the car. And so as you can see, there's uh, two canines there. They are now waiting for this driver to get out or possibly to approach the vehicle. Still, as we've said, uh, we don't know how many people are inside. We don't know if this person inside of the car is armed. That is always the concern from law enforcement when it comes to cases like this, pursuits like this. And so we're going to stay on this for now, but um, we might need to back away if something does happen. But just within the past couple of uh, minutes here, the driver being forced to a complete stop and now backed into from one of those three unmarked vehicles, massive vehicles. So we're going to stay on this shot here as uh, multiple now law enforcement cars have, have shown up to the scene with guns drawn. I believe they shot some rubber bullets at the, at the car, deploying more of those shots now, likely trying to get the driver out of the car force them out as it's somewhat of a standoff situation now. Okay, and so it does uh, look like they're approaching the vehicle a little bit closer. The sunroof now open here. They're smashing in the windows to try to get inside with shields fully up because they don't know if this driver is unarmed. They also don't know how many people are inside. Aggressively approaching the vehicle. And we did see just moments ago the driver putting their hands up outside of the car. We're going to stay on this shot in full to see how many people they find inside the canine unit still there as well. We saw two dogs that were there to assist with this situation. He's crawling over. He's crawling over right now. And now the driver crawling over. It was confirmed that this was an undercover operation. 
with DPS uh, following this car that was driving radically through traffic in the Phoenix, Arizona area. And now they're allowing the dog to go in. And out to the out, the other door through the driver's side door. Pulled out and now put into handcuffs. So we see just one person at this time. I don't see more than one person. Looks like maybe just one driver here. and the arrest now made. So once again, if you are uh, just tuning in here, this is a live look in Phoenix, Arizona, an aer aerial shot. Okay, so once again, uh, we are just getting all of our elements in a row here because uh, in a moment we'll show you the grappling technique to be able to pull this driver back uh, and kind of sandwich him in to get him to stop because he wasn't going to stop anytime soon. We're heading up on uh, 4.30 here in Phoenix, Arizona as the traffic really wasn't helping in this pursuit, kind of uh, keeping law enforcement back for a while, but then... Uh, the driver getting off on an exit and they were able to maneuver this and get him to slow down with that again grappling uh, maneuver here we want to show it to you one more time as it happened live take a look at this so you can see the driver uh, making its way along this exit here that unmarked vehicle there were three that were following this whole time one pulling out in front, the other using that grappling technique underneath the uh, axle there, slowing the car down and almost pulling it back like a bungee cord. So we want to see that just, just one more time because uh, we don't see this often. But you can see the car unable to drive away and unable to really back up either. So here we go. We'll see it one more time for you. Instant replay. As it's not every day you get to see something like this, those three unmarked vehicles, just honestly pulling this off extremely well. Shot underneath the car. And then that front car then backing into the driver here. So this is the grappler police bumper. That's, that's what it's called. It's used to de-escalate high-speed pursuits and in this case, doing it swimmingly. So there we have uh, played it a couple times for you. We'll play it again for you tonight back out live to um, the scene where the arrest has since been made. Live look from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, again, we don't really know why they were after this driver. We do know it was an undercover operation. And we now know it was just uh, one person inside of the vehicle as they searched the rest of the car there. We're